Here's some racial humor. White people are like this. Black people are like this. Oh, we're destined to fight forever. Pull out in the streets. For the younger people, that's satirizing what I see racial humor to be. It's just trivial and perpetuating the... <laughs> you, guys, you guys are funny. All right, I'll do a joke that you guys will like. I've always wanted a black girlfriend, because then when we're 69, I can call it yin yanging. <laughs> you will. You kill with them. The parents are going, mm. I would do Salvador Dali shit all day. You guys would just fill the seats. Space elephants. What? What did you say? I said you're too hot for only old people to be here. You know what? If I'm too hot, only old people should be here, actually. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, gee. I told you, not, uh, if I want the old people to come, then I'll do that. Oh, don't call your mom old. You're too young. How old are you? Oh, see? Oh, uh, yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> You're 16? So your mom's not that old. 32? I saw her on Maury. <laughs> Guys! What this is is 21st century racism. It's racism in light of itself. The only reason I'm saying these things is because the stigmas about race are already there, and I'm just like playing off of that. So you have to understand that. They understand that. So if I have to show a bunch of black people are beating me up, they're doing it ironically. <laughs> straight. I was raised uh, very well, like a field of corn. I was also raised very Christian, like the children of the corn. <laughs> and uh, you guys were like this. And I, well, specifically, I went to Catholic school and all that. So could you get that track, hit that track, please? And uh, I also went to Garage Band. All the seats at the Sunday masses filled with the masses, massive asses, classes pass as fast as molasses. Ceremonial reading glasses read a little bit of Leviticus. All the kids are a little too little for this. All the parents nod in agreement. I think I can vaguely see what he meant. It's too early in the morning, gory, to read another allegory story. The father reads a little bit farther, assuring the assured that they need not bother. When God, in verse 45, said that slaves were okay to buy, he meant that people all from the start each have slaves within their hearts. Things that we have sold or bought that are forced to pick our moral cotton. God calls us to set these free. Free our hearts from slavery. And then as God goes on to explain the logistics of buying and selling slaves. <laughs> the Bible was written by man. And man, see the thing about Jesus. In the back, I sit and I nod to the beats that are bumming from my iPod. My God, they're starting to pray. And over the music, I can hear them say, Dear God, dear Lord, dear big muscular man with a beard or a sword, dear good all-seeing being, my way of the highway, Yahweh, the blue-balled anti-masturbator, the great all-loving faggot hater. I'd like to thank your holy might for making me both rich and white. And though this is your day of rest, I come to you with one request. There's so much pain beyond this steeple. Wars and drugs and homeless people Sadness where there should be joy Hate and rape and soldier boy A world in darkness needs your light So I'm sure your schedule's pretty tight But my dog just had surgery And you can fix that first thing Jesus Deborah Messing his fingers in a holy place Hail Mary full of grace Obama 
some hope to the Pope and to a couple dudes who want to elope. See the church saying no, so the bros can't cope. The bros can grow, but the bros can't cope. They've been in love and they've been addicted. Who said they shouldn't benedict it? Cause in the holy land of the Lord, he's the holy landlord and dicks are evicted. Cause you can be a benedict if you benedict under benedict, but you can't have benedicts because there's only one Pope with only one dick. What? Yeah. A dick on a Pope is just like a soap on a rope cause it's pointless unless in prison. Throw up your Bibles, Christ is risen. Hallelujah, I'm a training man because the gender ratio's one to ten. Why knows at the Eucharist station, transgendered substantiation. Jesus wasn't the Messiah. Get back, I'm a heretic and I'm on fire. It was Oedipus, those holy knights, the holy motherfucking Christ. I'm a blasphemer, post-Katrina, cruise in the marina. On a crusade, the crusades and blasphemer. You're too late, but fuck, we don't need you. Thank you. <laughs> Fascinating, and more specifically, the numbers I find statistics to be so enlightening, you know, thought provoking, even. So, I've gathered some here, and uh, these are all 100% true. When I mean, you leave this theater and enter the world devoid of art, you can check them, and they will come back. They are true. So, I don't want them to blow your mind or anything, but maybe, like, you'll hear one of these and go, Whoa, never thought of that. You know, so these are uh, my statistics. Approximately 33.33% of the Jonas brothers have diabetes. <laughs> One out of every four kids with the initials ADD actually has it, and four out of four kids with the initials ADHD have an annoying self-righteous mother who wouldn't just shut the fuck up and take her husband's last name. <laughs> Here's a fun one. One out of every 44 U.S. presidents can dunk. <laughs> it's fucking Miller Fillmore, you racist. <laughs> The average child of Sarah Palin has 46.2 chromosomes. <laughs> Dang, read the numbers, none of me. Here's a really interesting one. Uh, the average person has one fallopian tube. Twenty percent of the Jackson Five. <laughs> Just tell me to do it. That's the <laughs> And guess what? The pages are blank. It's theater. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> the average penis length is five and a half inches. And finally, the average penis length of a man who Googles average penis length is three and a half inches. <laughs> I don't know. Like 40. 